In this video, we're gonna be talking about the two new Snell Golf lineups, the MTB Black and the MTB Red. Let's go put the route. Hit the ball! I obviously am a big fan of Boom. Hey guys, David Folk here, and on this channel we do golf club reviews, geek speak videos, instructional videos, and golf gear videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Dean Snell, who is the founder of Snell Golf, I've talked about him a couple times in previous videos, and he's basically the guy who's come up with the Europe thing cover, he's come up with the multi-piece construction, holds like 38 or 40 patents or something like that around golf balls specifically. Pretty much every tailor-made ball up to like 2014 and has moved into his own venture called Snell Golf. And he released his own golf ball lineup, which is two different balls. The first one's going to be the My Tour ball or the MTB ball and another ball called Get Some. The MTB ball is a three-piece ball with a urethane cover, a soft, low compression core, and a middle core to produce a little bit more spin as you compress it with the longer irons, and then you get maximum spin on the cover with your shorter irons and wedges. The Get Some ball has a Serlin cover, it's two-piece, it has a pretty soft core, but the, the outer core, the mantle, is all made up of a Serlin cover, which gives it a little bit of harder feel and less spin and less control than the MTB ball. So for this year, Snell Golf is releasing an MTB black and an MTB red. And the idea is to compete with some of the other manufacturers creating a softer version of a tour ball and a firmer version of a tool ball. So one of the things I really like about Snell Golf is how they receive their feedback. A couple of sites, specifically GolfWRX or GolfWorks.com, they like to peruse. There's been an actual forum set up that apparently some of the admin, including Dean, read some of those forums, gain an understanding of what golfers on that forum and what they hear around seeing what we, as golfers who use their ball, are saying. Titleist, Callaway, Strixon, all of those guys are using tour golfer feedback so that they can tweak and hone and develop their golf balls as Snell does not necessarily have that because they're not paying people to play their ball. What they're doing is they're getting feedback from us as consumers and, and as they collect all this data, there is information that seems to stand out larger in one area than others. And they can't put everything that everybody wants into a golf ball, but if there's something that seems to be standing out, something that's louder than others, then that's something that they want to take a look at and see how they can work into the next generation of ball, which they have in these two new golf ball lineup, the MTB Black, and the MTB Red. So, let's get into the MTB Black. The MTB Black is a three-piece layered ball. It's a 360 dimple pattern, 360 dimples, not 360 degrees around. Obviously, that's the case. It has 360 dimples in a pattern. It also has 7% less compression than the previous MTB to promote a little bit softer feel, which is what one of the key components of what people were saying. And so with this softer core, with the compression, it allows for a little bit lower spin on drivers because drivers are gonna be the club that have the greatest impact straight on with the actual ball itself. When you think of drivers, you have more of a direct impact that's gonna compress the ball more and that softer inner core is going to be producing just a smidgen lower spin than the previous MTB ball. So you're going to get a little softer feel as well as a little bit lower spin so that you can get a couple more yards of distance. So Snell is claiming. The MTB Red is actually a four piece ball. It has a urethane cover as well. The dimple pattern is a 338 and it has a fourth piece, an outer mantle. So you have the core, which is gonna be same. You have an inner mantle and then you have an outer mantle, which is going to help promote spin on approach shots a little bit more. And the idea again is as you move through the layers of the clubs, the amount of activation of cores is going to decrease, right? So the driver activates all of the cores. So if you think of a three piece or a four piece ball, it's having the direct impact getting to the center of the ball 
and then launching it with the lower spin. So then you can manipulate mantles to try and activate based on the amount of contact each club is having. This four piece ball from Snell, they're activating it on the approach shot. If you only had three layers versus four layers and you need a little bit more spin for your approach shots, you'd have to increase the core compression, which then increases the spin in the drives to make up for the approach shot spin that you want. So it's a catch 22. What he's decided and what he learned how to do was that you can add multiple layers to be able to produce different characteristics. So this new four piece ball that Snell has come up with is his design, is his theory put into practice in his own brand so that we can have a little bit better approach shot spin if that's something that we're looking for to better hold the greens or manipulate our shots to flight right so that we can have the right distance. This MTB red ball also is going to come in yellow. I, I gathered based on the conversations that I've watched and read on different forums that Snell isn't necessarily a huge fan because it requires a much more tedious and a longer process to produce yellow golf balls, especially with a urethane cover than a Serlin cover, like a two-piece ball, like a get some that's easier to produce because it's something that a lot of people have voiced in the different forums that he's been reading and watching. And I actually like the optic yellow over the white. So in spite of being only a little bit of the market share, Snell has caved and is producing a yellow golf ball. I've played Snell golf balls for quite a few rounds this past season. They are a really great ball. I, I enjoy playing them. I'm looking forward to specifically trying out the MTB Red. It's gonna be a little bit firmer feeling than the MTB Black, but I like the idea of having a four piece. I personally don't mind having the little extra spin on the ball so that I can fly it and do what I want with it. And plus, it's gonna come in yellow, which I obviously am a big fan of. So guys, I look forward to hearing your comments about the two new MTB My Tour balls in both black and red. What do you guys think? Have you played Snell previously? Did you like them? They're gonna come out at the $32 price point so that you guys can save some money. Again, you have Titleist broaching the $50 mark with the Pro V1s. Callaway's coming out with a new ball. It's gonna be another $45. Srixon's gonna be right around $40 to $45. And Snell's gonna be only $32. So is that something that you're interested in with tour level performance based on feedback that they've received from consumers. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing your opinion, your thought, how well it performed for you if you've played it. If not, is this something that you wanna try now? And which one interests you? Is it gonna be the red? Is it gonna be the black? And explain why down below. If you have any questions, go ahead, post those as well. I try to get to everybody's comments and questions. As always, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes that. Thanks for watching, and we'll chat with you next time.